Hi, and a very warm welcome to the Department of Fine Art at Kingston School of Art. My name's Jo Addison and I'm the head of department here. Some of the students and staff from BA Fine Art have come together in this short film to talk you through putting together your portfolio. In previous years, we've conducted interviews with home and EU applicants when we would have had an opportunity to look at their portfolios with them. But this year, given the ongoing risk of close contact, travel, and the complexities of government restrictions, we are suspending our face-to-face -face interviews. We are not conducting online interviews because not everyone has equal access to the resources and conditions needed to do these. We are still asking applicants to provide a portfolio which will be submitted online, along with a short artist statement to tell us about yourself and the work you've made. In this film, we explain how to put these things together and we tell you more about how we use the portfolio and the statement to help us determine whether you can benefit from studying with us. This time of year is always really exciting for us because we catch a little glimpse of our future students. This year, we might not be able to see you, but we'll really enjoy looking at your work. And so in this film, we thought we'd give you a little glimpse of some of us in return. Like many of you, our staff and students are working from our homes at the moment. And this is where we have recorded from. So enjoy the shoddy quality and the screen eyes. Very best of luck with preparing your portfolio and statement. And I hope it won't be long before we have an opportunity to meet. What is the purpose of a portfolio? A carefully prepared portfolio will show us your practical and thinking skills as well as your creative interests. Everyone's portfolio will be unique to them, so it can tell us a lot about your individual approach to an experience of art making and learning. What should a portfolio contain? A uh, portfolio should be a maximum of 20 pages. You can compile the pages in PowerPoint, Photoshop, Word, uh, but whatever you do, please save the finished portfolio as a single PDF. Try not to exceed a file size of 100 megabytes. There's lots of online sites that will compress your PDF to a smaller file size if it's too large. And we also ask you to provide a short artist statement about you and your work you presented. Should I include work in progress as well as finished work? Yes, please include work in progress as well as finished work. We can learn a lot about how you work by seeing it during its development, as well as when you consider it to be complete. One way to do this is to compile a series of images from your sketchbooks into one or two pages of your portfolio. Should images have captions? Yes, please include captions or an image list with the following details about each of your pieces. Does the work have a title? This is only applicable if it does, please don't worry if not. Please tell us if it's finished or in progress. How big it is, the length, the width, the height. What's it made of? A main list of the materials would be very useful. And finally, what themes you consider relevant to the work? For example, politics, identity, environment, making processes, etc. Can I include web, video, animation and performance work? Yes, you can represent moving image and time-based work in the following ways. You may compile a series of screen grabs into one image. You may include in your PDF up to three links to time-based work. If they are private accounts, please provide us with passwords to access them. Should I include any supplementary material? Yes. Please provide an artist statement to tell us about you and the work you have presented. This can be done in one of two ways. Either a written statement of 600 words maximum or a short video of two minutes maximum. What should I consider when writing or filming my short statement? 
So your statement is an opportunity for us to get to know you and for you to tell us a little bit about your work and your interests and also what drives you, what makes you want to make art, what makes you want to be an artist. We'd be interested in hearing about where you currently work. That could be where you're studying now if you're a student. Uh, for others, that might be your studio or your, or your home. And we're interested in hearing about why you think Kingston might be the right place for the next step in your work. Now, when it comes to your work, tell us about what you're interested in, why you make this kind of artwork. Give us examples from your portfolio that are particularly important to you. We're also interested not only in the works that you make, but the ones that inform you, inspire you. So tell us which contemporary artworks or artists have particular impact on you and your ideas. Tell us about what you read, what exhibitions you go to, what films you watch. Don't forget, if you're more comfortable with speaking than with writing, then you can send us a video. And uh, we're not expecting uh, any sort of academic essay. This, is, this statement is just so that we can uh, understand you, get to know your personality, your ambitions, what drives you, and for an opportunity for you to tell us a little bit about how you work, how you think. Uh, what you're interested in, what you care about. What qualities are you looking for in a portfolio? So we're looking for a range of visual concepts and an ability to think critically and creatively. So we want to see evidence of your ability to work independently and in groups. Um, we want to see how you handle different materials and processes and technologies. We want evidence of how you experiment and how you explore multiple approaches and ideas. And we also want to see evidence of an ability to visualize this and articulate all of these ideas in a clearly presented portfolio of work. Who will be looking at my portfolio? A combination of staff and students from the Fine Art Department at Kingston School of Art will be looking at your work very carefully. You will hear from our admissions team about whether or not you've been offered a place. And we will keep in touch with offer holders about our activities in the coming months. We all wish you the very best of luck with your application, but if you do have any questions that we haven't answered, you can contact myself, Adam Gillam, Joint Course Leader and Admissions Tutor, on a.gillam at kingston.ac.uk, and that's a.gillam, which is G-I-L-L-A-M, at kingston.ac.uk.